my person and I think that I think I'm just gonna have to wait I don't think that my heart will let me rest if I don't give this last chance y'all ever heard the term batshit crazy she be right there in the dictionary Last night, we snuck out, went to the kids' bed, and uh, guess who got lucky? <laughs> What's okay. up, y'all? It's Mary. And Amma. Uh, Back with the bullshit. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> so we are we're watching the 90 days. Before the 90 days. Um, we invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> it's too much. Let us Can just we start. start with Ella? Yes. Ella, Let's Ella. Start. Let's just start with that. So. It's cool. It's just so called, important to So me. she called It's so important guy. to me. I just need a physical touch. I need physical <laughs> attention. So she calls her guy in China. And he says he can't go to Dubai because China is in lockdown and he'll have to quarantine for a long time. So he says he'll go in February, right? And whenever they were talking, it was seven months from whatever, whenever they were talking. And so she tells him that, look, because you refused to go to Dubai, I had to call a friend of mine. And a he close came over, friend. So right, he, yeah. And we cuddled. And then we have sex because I need... She says she needs physical touch. And he's she not said around. her self work is wrapped up in male attention because right. of for physical touch. So So she's aware of her craziness, yes. but still decides to do it anyway. And then she asks, Are you mad? And he says, No. He's like, I understand. It's complicated. Right? And then she starts crying. Do you understand I need physical touch? What she was just doing. It's so important. And then it's so important. And then to he me. says Baby, baby, give me your ring size. I'm going to get you a diamond ring. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, let me go to China and find me somebody. That when I will step out of the relationship, he will get take my ring size and, and buy me a diamond ring. <laughs> that was the craziest shit I ever saw in my life. Up. You can't make this stuff up. And then it's like she's trying to gaslight him. Like, I have to give him a second chance. And, oh, oh, I need to make this work. And this, that, and the third. And now I feel really bad now. Because we're going to go touch. Wait. It's so important to me. Ella. It's so important. To while me. you're waiting to see him in Dubai, please. Get your shit together. Get some counseling. And get some therapy. Because obviously you know. And get your money together. Obvi well, I think they she's have the money. Parents well, yeah, she's with we're the supporting parents. her. Right. But they, I mean, she is the heir to their whole farm and acres of land. So she's going to be good. But get some counseling. You've got to get some counseling. Because it's the good thing is she's aware that her whole self esteem or whatever is wrapped up in getting physical touch from men. Yeah. You gotta fix that because if you're in a long distance relationship, you can't always be going to somebody for physical touch if this guy is not around. That is stupid. He does not want an open relationship. And um, so, yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> every, every month. That girl is no fool. Let me tell you something. She makes three thousand dollars every single month. She ain't no fool. But yes, um, let's get into Amina and um this <sighs> boy who should have just skipped his ass back to America. Which one is that one? Mike. Oh so he and is thirty four yeah. and she is twenty four. I just realized she's, that she's a my age. You're younger than her. I will be twenty four in July. So I'm basically twenty four. But Nothing. my thing is, I just think, like, she doesn't Can find him attractive. Can you being with a 34-year-old? No, just say no. Not 
maybe 32, 30. <laughs> I can see myself being with somebody older, but not 10 years and above. Probably eight years. But that's like where I stop. Um, yeah, I couldn't do somebody who's almost 40. No, that's just nasty. <laughs> But yeah, so you my thing that? is forty year olds who are going in for twenty young twenty something year olds. That's just nasty. I don't want to be sleeping with your old wrinkly penis that probably can't even get up without Viagra. Not that I'll be sleeping with anybody before marriage. But <laughs> <laughs> anywho, um, but yes, that is my thing. Like, she doesn't like him. He's not attractive. You're thirty four. You look. I don't want to. And there's no words to describe how Mike looks. Let's, let's, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, oh, so. There's no words. Um, but she's not attracted to him. You can she's tell not. that. It seems like it was a chore. And even when the friend was talking to her in the beginning, it was basically like, you know, um, she basically was telling her, like, you don't like him or whatever. You just said, like, you're disgusted by him. He's a pig. Um, she's trying to tell him, look, Mike, get out of He's there. She's not into you. Yes. You're, like, you're a degenerate. You're piggish. And you're sluggish. Then, of course, and then, of course, she was gaslighting, trying to say, you, like, oh. You, you wrinkled the dollar in front of her. I'm eating. But, like, you know, he was pretty much, like, you want me to leave? I'm going to yeah, leave. Yeah, like, he, like, like he couldn't make a money. decision yeah. for himself or whatever and stuff. He like, could make a decision, but I think he kind of... He knew, first of all, she had a job. You told her not to work. And now you're paying for everything. And she doesn't so want to go back to work. So she doesn't have money. Like, you're the one who provides for her. And now you're going to leave all of a sudden without her having a safety net. Well, that's her so fault. So, of My course, penis, she's not going it's... to... Of course, she's going to hug you and be like, okay... Yes, and that she slept with together. him because he is leaving. She even said that. She said, you know, I slept with him because, I mean, he was getting ready to leave. leave. So I was like, let me just no, said, see with him and see week. what happens. And wants to, you know, and then. But so this she, is like literally sugar daddy, sugar mama, yeah. sugar baby behavior. And like she this has literally decided it. and told him, I'm not having sex with you anymore until after marriage. Until you put that ring on my finger. And, and I get something for it. And you're not responsible for me and my child. I will not be sleeping with you. Well, she doesn't enjoy sleeping with him. Now, the thing is, not. he just, it's, I guess, creepy because he was like, oh, what type of animal was I? He said, you're basically a tiger. She's like, oh, you're an owl or whatever, because but you're, you're a good owl me. and all this stuff and everything. And then the thing is, I thought was so effed up. Y'all left your grown adult bed to go sleep in the she, child's bed because she with always, your I semen after. probably all over the place no, I and then the after. sweat and the juices I from the sex mm -hmm. on the bed sheets the that's just is, nasty you all are not married she doesn't want the children you just being there like that's the other thing too like mom she, she was, wasn't thinking about none of that stuff when she was sleeping with him the first time having oh, her yeah. good old time it's only now when he refused to pay for her breast Oh, to yes. get done, and she had to go to a low shark, and she started acting different. Mm. So, please, it ain't got nothing to do with her damn kids. It ain't got nothing to do with them kids. Okay, we're not going to speak well, not kids. damn kids, but, yeah. the, but the sweet kids. Yeah. It ain't have nothing to do with them. Okay. So, that's my thing. We'll be right back. Gino is on. Moin. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where were we? I don't even know Where anymore. were we? We already talked about Ella. We'll talk about Jimena and Mike. Oh yeah, so basically, so that's what she said that uh, that he wasn't that she basically said that he was an owl. But the thing is, is she's not attracted to him. She doesn't like him. Doesn't. This is literally a sugar daddy, sugar baby situation. Yes. And the thing is, I like Amena. It's your fault. If this man, he was paying for all this stuff. That's awesome or whatever stuff. That doesn't mean that you stop working. If you did not like him, if you weren't sexually attracted to him, if you did not want to be with him like that for real, for real. You, you should have been started working, working while he was paying your stuff yeah, and, and saving, saving your money. money. Yeah, but you just completely quit working all of a sudden like this, and now all of a sudden you want to become a model. You want to go from a nine to five job to being a freelance model sometime me in oh, the in what the Dominican they're Republic. Just, they're just what the hell are you they're talking just about? Take advantage of you, Jimena. Yeah, and then you want to go get your breasts done too. Like, I mean, that don't even make sense. No, it don't make sense. But you're not interested in this man. You should have continued to work and save your money and mm -hmm. then be on your own. Yeah. But don't sit here and sleep with this man and then say, oh, I don't want to sleep with you because of my kids. But we can go to another room. Oh, it's not the kids. I just don't want to sleep with you. Yeah. What the fuck is going on in 
fire. Yeah. This is so... That's yeah. my thing. Yeah. You should have just not done that. So whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to talk about Usman and Kim. Kim Bali, you are crazy. You are 50 shades of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, your screws are somewhere on the floor. Rolling down the river. Rolling. Somewhere. Rolling. <laughs> Rolling down the river. Kimberly or whatever stuff like that and she's all upset like, she's upset like you know I don't think you understand like chain. did you put told she, him to take off the chain yeah she said so she let us she know said, that I just want to I just want to see it I just want to see the, the chain one that real has quick. so so soldier boy it looked, on it and then she's like you know how much that costs like mm. I had to get it done overseas I had to find somebody mm. cost me like forty five dollars so you can get it for your birthday like that was thought like how much thought did you put into this um trip he said, he said nothing. nothing he said oh wow that shows a lot. Y'all were friends. He didn't say that there was anything going on. and But my thing in her mind, she's thinking that they were talking as if they were going to be in a relationship. Oh, so when she's you came, messed up in the head. We all knew that you all were just friends. Because you said And then he, he said also it. said that he didn't ask you to come. Mm-hmm. He didn't even beg you to come. You came on your own mm-hmm. free will. So you're here getting it all fucked up in your mind that this man should be doing a lot of stuff for you. But... Yeah. You are the one who's been pursuing him this whole time, but you want to be pursuing you now, Kim. And then she was even like, oh, you know, you need to do something big. I don't know what it is, mm. but you need to do something big. Because she wants to go brag and say that he did this big thing after you begged him and harassed him to do it. I know. And go tell the friends, she's look at what he did for me. She's, she's embarrassed. So she's you are like to... 90 years old begging some guy for his penis. Have some yeah. pride about your yeah. shit. Look, is that what you say all the time? Mm. Above all else, besides being civilized, mm. we must have pride about our must shit. Must always. Must always. You always say that to me. And, and you haven't been civilized this whole time. Just got the drink. It's like... <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. That's what... I, okay. <laughs> But yeah, stew the yeah. drink in his face or whatever. It's, and then so she's like, you need to do something big or whatever, stuff like that for me. Mm-hmm. Or you're not getting this chain. You're not getting this drink back. This chain back. And then he was so like, this is funny. Kim, this is funny. Oh, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, he, he said. Uh, <laughs> I was like. And then she uh, like storms uh, off. Yes. And then of course he falls behind her like an idiot. Um, but yeah, that's where that left off. But now we're here with Benjamin and the parents. And, yeah. I, what is her name? I don't know. Mahogany? He wants to talk to the parents privately. No, but... He's another one who's much older. He's in his 50s, no, and but she's in her 20s. Okay, but what happened was, he basically wrote like 10 essays telling her about what's going on in his past and stuff like that. She never responded. With his wife, with his ex-wife and his ex-girlfriend. Right, so... She, because she was concerned that he kept on, when they spoke... He kept on blaming them, them and not taking everything. accountability for mm-hmm. himself. So she basically was like, okay, I don't really want to talk to him or whatever. So she never responded to the 11 essays. Um, and he basically said, you know what? The fact that you don't even respond to me, then fine, forget it. So he, um, 
BC was like, I'm not coming to breakfast. But and mind you, you the parents, parents privately. He didn't know the parents were there her. though, actually. The parents just showed up. Mahogany didn't even know they were there, but she but once they found out that she was going to be there alone with him on the island, they were like, Oh, we're gonna come here for vacation. Which I could totally see you doing something like that. Mm. <laughs> they said, Oh, we're here on vacation or whatever and stuff. So then well, she you, told him that, oh, my parents are here. He's like, well, I want to talk to your parents. I don't want to talk to you with them. Without them. You know what I think he wants to do? He wants to show them all the texts she was sending to him when he was, when she was saying, I love you and all this stuff, which I think will be important because it's disrespectful to go show them that stuff. Oh, my goodness. They're showing Soldier Boy getting whatever on his face, and he follows her. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't feel sorry for him because this is the women he keeps on going for. Like, no. you are there in Nigeria. You're like, what, 20 years well, younger than her? She went for him, but so just. But you could have just told her, no, I'm not interested. Like, have some pride about your shit. Mm. There are women there, but you keep on getting disrespected. Then you wonder why you're getting disrespected. And then it's like you go chase them, but you want somebody to. I, I don't know. I don't know. He, he, he got some. He totally some. wants his necklace back. Who knows? Oh, yes, he felt like a real her. rapper. <laughs> you disrespecting yourself when you decide to go and put your penis and in her. And he's following her. What are you following her? Women in my culture are 100% submissive, and this is unheard of. Really? I don't know if it's normal in America, oh, but in my region... Oh, goodness well. So Americans have told you this is not normal and this and that. However, you keep on going for women like that. And so, hey, why are you upset? You think your Blake's out to do something? Oh, he really wants a necklace. But I'll do what she wants. What is it? What? Oh, you do what I want. Is that what you want? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't even, I don't believe, I believe you love me because we've been talking to each other for a year, but you're not in love with me. It's in your actions. It's the way you talk to me. Everything. It's not. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. For this woman life. is somewhere. She's stuff. crazy as hell. I'm trying to figure it out. And oblivious. You me what I do. You I don't care what the f you're going to do. What else am I going to do? I don't know. Figure it out. And then. How can you love me if you were with another bitch while I wasn't? Oh, no, with another B. Also, now she's cursing. I don't believe nothing. Either you come correct with me and prove it, or I'm getting on a plane tonight. And don't think I won't do it. Do not think I won't do it. You think my friends want me here? Safe life. Wow, really? Safe life? No. Cool. Cool. I will book it tonight. Because you're here being all cocky. Don't think I won't do it. Don't think I won't do it. That's why you said say flights. Bye. You oh, pour drinks in my face. She's probably going to come back. Oh, she took the necklace back. She's taking his laptop. Well, he has given her back the laptop and all the other stuff. See, she had sex. Kimbali? Similar to my ex-wife now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she's using the B word and all kinds of stuff. Don't worry, very soon she she will. Now <laughs> here she is other crying. Words. You can break everything in the grill. Don't you know, break. You, you're gonna have to pay if you break the stuff in the hotel. Don't break your back while you're at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you're up in it. I have no idea what confusion. She came as a friend. She came as a friend. I, I feel like we both lost. We're not gonna work this out. She said have a safe life. That was all the answer I needed. So that's it. It's gonna be very, very hard to remove this man from my life. He's been such a part. It's not just like he's a little part of my life. Like he's a it's a twenty four hour day thing. You know what I mean? And I've gotten so used to him calling me every morning or me calling him, the texting, everything is so much. I can't even think about it. It's gonna be really hard. And I'll probably never date again, ever. Well, good for you. You focus on yourself, girl. Because whatever caused you to be there begging a man for some sex, um, and not being very clear about your relationship, yeah. There's not much you do to protect yourself this fast. Yeah. You can't do in no two days. In two days. 
because he's not gonna hold in court, child. So don't get married, wait until another year, and then be doing the prenup now. I feel like she can trust Hamza. I mean, if eight, well, I don't want to say if this relationship Girl, goes well, it's going to be her have fault. your prenup. You're making money like that, you better have your prenup, that's for sure. Any nurse practitioner better have their prenup. Even nurses, you better have your prenup. Because nurses be making some money. I know when I used to work as a nurse, yeah, that money was rolling like a river. <laughs> or living a good life. Hello. So yeah, any nurse out there, you better have yourself a prenup if you is getting married. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, let's talk about Memphis and Usman's mom. So they met up to talk. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes, I yes. thought it was a nice conversation. I think so. I was worried she was going to get disrespectful. But mm -hmm. it seemed like... I think what it was, the guy who was interpreting... He was, was not even saying everything correctly. When Memphis says, I have had trauma, she's like, she is has been... She is traumatized. traumatized. And it's still in shock. Right now. And it's, she is right now in shock. Like, what? That's not what she said. <laughs> she's had past trauma. That you know, it's 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 with her, but it's not like happening now. And the way he was even saying it, all as though he's an actor. I don't know what that man was on or what he sniffed that day, but that man was off his rocker. I'm like, you were saying stuff she didn't even say. Yeah. And then she's on... hurt right now by you, uh, and she is about to disrespect you. <laughs> She doesn't understand. Well, like he was so, so dramatic. So like with his um thing and everything, she's and then... in shock. Now, she's traumatized. <laughs> and then even when I was it, she was talking about how you know I don't want to be disrespectful, but you're really getting to me. I am a nurse practitioner. You are getting to her. You are. You are getting, getting to, to her. her. She said, "I am strong. She's I did strong. not have the love of Hamza from you. Yes. I did not have." The love that you gave Hamza. Hamza I did yes, not have yes, anybody. I yes, made myself. I yes. am strong. Mm -hmm. I made myself. I made a way for myself. And then he was like slamming the table. I know. He was like, so dramatic. I said, I bet it's an actor somewhere. Are like, you trying to get an acting career? Mm -mm -mm. But I just thought the translator just did them a little dirty. But at least, at least they hugged in the end. And, it was, and nobody's right. weed got snatched because off. Once she started to <laughs> cry, the mom also started to. Was like, What's at the end of the on? day, they both love Hamza. And at the end of the day, a mom just wants her child she to be wants happy. She wants her son to be happy. That's, yeah. that's all she wants. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't want any drama. She doesn't want him being disrespected when they go over there. Yeah, because, I mean, you're, because, she's seen you yell at him all the time. No yeah, mother wants want to see that. that. Yeah. And also, women, I don't think women, I don't think a man should yell at a woman. I also mm -hmm. don't think that women should yell at men. I think there's a way to speak to somebody. You just talk to people. Just talk to Seriously. somebody. If you're so pissed, write a letter. Yeah. Write a letter. Or come back after, but I don't think you should raise things, your voice. That's the thing people have to understand. Things can keep. Everything doesn't have to be solved today. You know, nothing. I don't believe the stuff where they say solve everything before you go to bed. I don't want never to go, go to bed, bed mad at you, Listen. and I don't want you to go to bed mad at okay. me. Okay. No. Anyway, the thing is, <laughs> that's all you by don't, Neo. You choose. You make the choice. I'm not going to go to bed mad. But I don't, we don't have to solve everything today. But we're not going to go to bed mad. But we don't have to solve everything today. This is a long life. We're going to have a long life together. We don't have to solve everything today. It's not necessary. Yeah, well, also, you know, you don't want to, if if your husband says something that really pisses you off, you don't want to keep it in and it's never, I, never it say it. You can say, you know something, I am, I, am, I am not happy with the way you spoke to me, but we're not going to resolve it right now. You know, because I have to, you see, sometimes you have to make sure you're getting your sleep. That's part of the whole health thing. One, you're exhausted. Now, pow, pow, we have to discuss it now. Yes. It's late at night. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. I need the sleep so I can wake up. My brain can function well and my emotions can be where they need to I be. I don't want to go to bed mad, though. Re don't go to bed mad. Make the choice. I'm not going to go to bed mad. But I'm mad, though. You know something? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Think about it like a child. Sometimes our children have pissed us off. And they have said some hurtful things. Especially, so you know, when they get older, they start smelling themselves. The thing is, 
everything is not going to be. But when you go to bed, you still love your child, right? You don't hate the child. Yeah. The child doesn't want to talk to you. You guys have, you know, both annoyed, whatever. You don't get the child up and say, we will discuss it. We're not going to... You don't do that. You make the choice. You let it keep. But for some reason. But that's what we do. Sometimes we will get upset with each other and then we'll go to bed and I'll be back. We and I'll be like, Mom, I'm bed. sorry, Mommy. Yeah. And like, then it's just like, okay, however, it is what it when is. we get married... No, no, no. You, We get all these little rules from people TV. all over the place. Yeah. The television teaches us all kinds of things. How we should be. And then we decide that's how we're going to live our lives. These are writers who wrote the script and it sounded good and they put it on TV. Now all of a sudden everybody follows like sheep. Yeah. We, you don't have to. You, you just make the choice. Just like when you make the choice, you're going to forgive someone. They've never asked you for forgiveness. But you just make the choice, I forgive them because I don't want to be locked in some crazy, unforgiving bond with them. Facts. With your child, they may piss you off. You just make the choice, I forgive them. Before they even come to say, Mom, I'm sorry. I've already forgiven them. I've gone to bed. I've enjoyed my sleep. So when I wake up in the morning, my mind is right. The anger has dissipated. And we just move on. But for some reason, when you get married, now there are all these odd rules. And you follow them. You don't take the time to just look at your own relationship and say, you know something? This don't work for us. Yeah. Things can keep. You can just keep some things. Make a choice. I'm just not going to be upset about this. I have a long life. If uh, 10 years from now, um, am I going to really give a damn that he said this today? Will he also care that I said this today? Like, go to sleep when you're both 100 and he's 110. Are you both going to give a damn what had happened when you were in your 40s? Come on. That's why you marry. Someone said this. I heard this somewhere. And I think it's beautiful. You marry for the next. You, you choose the partner for the next 80 years. Not for the immediate future, like 20 years. You choose that partner for the next 80 years. Yeah, that's beautiful. When you start choosing a partner for the next 80 years, you probably make a, the, the, a different choice. <laughs> you may yeah. probably say, no, I don't want I won't be with that guy. That guy he ain't going to last through our, our older ages. No. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Memphis and Hamza. She's talking about her prenup. Well, the thing is, she has waited two days to get a prenup drawn up. Prior to thing, getting married. It's too It's I mean, too late. Okay. If anything, the thing is, because the lawyer told her hey. that, look, you know, he has to, we have to make sure that he understands what's going on in the prenup. Exactly. He has to consult with his own lawyer. If you do it right, if you do it like a few days before the wedding, then it's as if you did it under duress. Is that what happened to Mary J. Blige? Hey. And, he, and, and now then, she's having to pay this man what five five hundred thousand dollars a month much it or is. something. Let's it's get some out of her crazy. Money, but uh, it's something crazy that she actually has to. Go, she actually has to come out of retirement to go and tour now because yeah. like she has to pay him so much money. Well, she can't retire the when she wanted to. So. Yeah, because you know you give the wrong really damn is. person trying to well, eat your money. Make sure you because if you do the prenup, the wedding has already been planned, and then you do the prenup. Then the assumption is made that this guy went ahead and signed the prenup because, the, you know, he didn't want to embarrass family and all this stuff. So that's why you have to, you know, make sure you do the prenup way ahead of time. Yeah, exactly. So you oh, need... okay. Let's watch that. No, it's going to be coming up. Uh, my ex. He's still talking to his ex? Oh, I'm so done. What? The email she was from like, six years ago. The way she looked at him, though, she was like, I know you are not yelling and cussing she, at me. Like, she looked at him like... Yeah, the, like, she... I think he has gone to a space where she really doesn't like this guy no more. Oh, yeah, she looked at him and she said, when I look at Gino, I see resentment. You know, it's, <laughs> it's time for him to move on. Oh, okay, wait, let's finish up with else. Memphis real quick, though. Yeah. But just to wrap up Memphis. So what happened was, so the lawyer basically told her, you know, you it's can't do it. She is too late. late. You really need to do this like a month or two months ahead of time. But she thought that he could draw Not it up or whatever real quick. Ahead, no. 
if you even you know you gotta do this i will say i will advise do it six months in advance wow definitely at least three months in advance if you're a woman you want to preen up make sure you do it at least three months in advance yeah but the thing is i don't know because i mean obviously the lawyer has to look over her finances figure out what the situation is with this guy because i don't even know if he even knows that she's in tunisia mm-hmm. yeah the thing is once you bring somebody over to the u.s you you're have to take care of them you're actually obligated them. to take care of them for what the next 10 years or something like mm-hmm. that well for a while yeah, so I mean, he's going to be you sign entitled. All those papers to yeah. say that I'm going to be responsible for this person. They're yeah. not going to be a burden on the U.S. government. I can take care of them. I'm financially able. You have to send in documents and all that stuff. Yeah. Like so, you see, so I'm sure the lawyer has to go through all that. You can't just say I want to draw a prenup and let's just do this. That's yeah. not how that works, boo. Mm-hmm. So I do think it's unfortunate, but I did not like how she left Hamza because she basically was like. I have to go. I need to go to a hotel. I can't be with you right now. I just need to go. She did not explain to him why she why she's leaving. She did not explain well, that's the drama what's going that the on. Mom is talking about. Exactly. You could have just like a human being saying like, "Look, you know, I just had a conversation with a lawyer. Um, it's He's about to be thinking like, okay, I can't talk about it right now, but I just need some time to think or whatever. But I do love you. You did nothing wrong or whatever and stuff." You know, but yeah. it's like Hulk Hogan having an adult mother effing conversation. I know. But she didn't do that. So yeah. now he's thinking, I don't know what I did. Like, is she upset? Is she exactly. having pro- issues with the past, this, that, and the third, or whatever? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what had happened. Mm-hmm. I didn't like how she left him. Mm-hmm. But now I'm pretty sure she's going to want to call it off. But honestly, I don't want to say that she can trust Hamza. Um, but mm-hmm. I... Yeah, I guess not. I but also, I feel like she, her whole issue with her past traumas and stuff, like, I know you said it made you, like, she said it did nothing but make me stronger. Um, It also kind of effed you up a little bit, and I feel mm-hmm. like it's important to acknowledge it. Like, David Goggins yeah. says, you know, you might look in the mirror, and you might be delusional, you know? If you're fat, say, I am fat. I am depressed. I have traumas going on. But what am I going to do now to help it? Mm-hmm. You have traumas going on because, obviously you do, because the way that mother even came and was talking to you, you, you got all so wide-eyed. Like, you also, wanted yeah. to, like, go over the table and, like, choke her. Yeah. Like, the way your eyes got all big. Yeah. Like, so you have to work on that. So don't yeah. say it just made you stronger. Yeah. Say I have to address it. Okay, Gino is back I'm on. Many so Americans gonna jump into the bush and run away. <laughs> How many know. times Americans gonna do that on the show? I don't know, man. Yo, that's Remember what's... that other guy who ran into the bush? Or he Straight into the wilderness. Like he was Tarzan or I some stuff. I they're still together. I, I pray not, because she's been trying to divorce for the longest time. But I thought when, they, when she came over here, she finally kind of settled down and stuff. Mom, was his crazy self? Please. We've not Paul. That was his name. Paul and what was her name? I can't remember her name. I don't know, but I pray she has been Fred um Fred from the shackles of that man. Mm. Uh <laughs> let's talk about But yeah, yeah, so basically Mike was sitting down there with Amina. We're like at the end now. And he previous. was like, you know, like I just feel I can't help but feel like, you know, your feelings changed once I thought pay for stuff. And she's like, What? And then so you still pay my rent. So you say you still that. pay my rent, so it's not that. But there's things about you that I don't like. You pay my rent, so it's not that. Yeah. He said, my mind's going crazy. I just can't. And then he just jumps over something, Ugh, runs sorry. out into the alley. And, and it's like, please. what you running for? And where are you going? This Do is why Amina don't like you. Because you get crazier and crazier by the minute. Uh, yeah, and you look yeah. smaller and smaller each day to her. The more she walks over you and then rolls you, roll over your ass with a pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> they go forward, they go back and forth. <laughs> oh boy, my. it's too much. But I can see how you can get tired of someone like that. You Who, wake Mike? up there staring at you. You you sit down to talk and he has nothing to say. He continues to repeat the same conversation. And he's also short. And then I don't know. Just try to develop your conversation skills or something. And on top of that, he's messy. So all the little things start really bothering you. Well, Mom, he's also not attractive. If this man was like was like six six, was good looking, and looked like Idris Elba, would you? Well, I mean, that's not even your type. I mean, what do you mean that's not my type? Well, you like common. 
Yeah, I if, like it was ca- if it was common, do these things. But I also things. like Idris, though. Yeah. I'm sorry, but, but yes, you're right. He's not... But if see, it was common, would you I have like... issues, though? If it was common doing all that stuff, <laughs> would you have issues? And he was, like, taller oh, than you. stop. Exactly. Exactly. If it's someone that you are physically attracted with, you'll be overlooking that stuff. Well, you We've all done it. <laughs> that is not... A, first of all, I don't actually have a type. I don't. Like, I like LL Cousy. Of course, he's married, right? But I usually don't like bulky guys. I usually like, like... Yeah, like common, right? You like moho, right? But I even like like slimmer. You mean slimmer guys? You like slim build. Like, like what's that guy? You remember the guy who has that um, from my best friend's wedding? Robert Down, not da- Robert oh, Downey, no. but he, he was some guy. He has that mark on his lip, but he was in that movie with Julia Fox. My Julia best friend's Roberts. wedding. Yeah, Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. Yeah, Julia Fox. Is that girl? Oh, not Julia Fox. Julia Roberts. She was, he was, yeah. So that's, that's my, someone who's a lean. And, uh, I'm drawing a blank now. But yeah, someone who's kind of lean. But, you know, they are strong, right? And, yeah. and, you know, tall, yeah. Now, I personally, I like, I like buff guys, but mm-hmm. I also don't mind somebody with a little cushion. Like, when I say little cushion, I mean, like, little. I do okay. not mean somebody with a whole S-curve, and then you got the little dash in your hip where mm. you got the extra fat, and it's a dad bod okay. that's firm. I'm talking just, so like, like... slightly. So very slightly. Yeah. You know, I don't mind lean. I also don't mind buff, you know. Yeah. It's just, you know, so that's when you, like, lay on them or whatever. It's just, like, they're really, like, hard like a rock. You okay. know what I'm saying? But I, I, yeah. I like the aesthetic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I like really, country I'm strong really men that are naturally into. strong. Yeah, and that's why I like lean guys that are naturally strong. They yeah. see those muscles. They have they have their six pack. You know who also I like? remember that guy in, um, in the movie with Jennifer Lopez. Which movie was that? The last one that she best playing or something. Marry me. No, 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 no. The one before Marry Me. It was like a like she wanted to have a child. She ended up having a child with a surrogate or something. She had her own child. She ended up having twins oh, yeah, with yeah, a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back of plan. See? Yeah. He is a lean. Yeah. But he got a six pack, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a guy doesn't have to be buff. Does have to honest. be buff. Yeah. 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 But so that's why I said either is you know, like either is kinda it's my type. But I yeah. just I never, I mean, people think he's really fine and stuff like that. I think it's the accent. It's the accent. I, I'm just, I, I, I mean, he's, 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 he's okay. I mean, people like him, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I just have a weird, my guys are not like fine per se. I like Lisa Bonet's husband. I don't know what his name is, but that See, is like, like that is too that's buff like, for me. I don't no, that's like I like I would say so, like this A I I would say like he's like B on my list like he's like a B plus like very like that's like my type like he he yeah. fine as hell I love me somebody with long hair yeah, just yeah. give me a man with long hair and also like tall and and, and I am look, good and, and cut eyebrows right I don't be looking and at men's eyebrows for real <laughs> I was not checking for Nate <laughs> anyway. You saw them earrings and that was a rough for you. You're like, ooh, got four earrings. No. I think it's weird when men have their eyebrows done. I just do. Cause why well, you got he, your eyebrows- also, he also had that eyebrow thing and so does Lisa Bonet's husband too. Well, I think that's a natural thing. No, it's not. They actually cut it. They do the shape here and here. I think he has a scar up no. there, Mom. I think you're tripping. Well, no. Yes. He Bonet, has a scar. He does. Lisa Bonet's husband does. But not Nate's. Yeah, but I Nick never liked his, his eyebrows. eyebrows. I thought he was a little, you know, you, like you know. Me. But I, I, I was a little. You I wanna, didn't know. You want us to rewind tape? Let's I was not checking for a man's eyebrows. I actually could give a shit about man's eyebrows you or were his. For Nate. I was because of his height, his earrings, and, you like and his tattoos. I like you, a man with tattoos. That's you, just my thing. You may not have liked Clayton now, but you like Clayton. I did. He is my type, but built wise. Mm. You know, and you see, he's muscular, but he has a little cushion. Yeah, just a little that's bit, like. and that's the same thing. Listen, because he doesn't have a six pack, too. right? 
He's a funny husband too. He's big, but yeah. he got a little cushion. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But it's not like no strong S curve. I do not want to be seeing your ass hanging out and then also your stomach hanging out that you got titties to match. <laughs> I am not trying to do that. Okay, so where were we on we this were, show? But that's what I'm saying. If it was someone that you were physically attracted to, all the little stuff would not be bothering you. Exactly. Okay, if it was like my ideal, like if it was Lisa Bonet's husband, I don't care. I'll be cooking. I'll be cleaning. Actually, I would be, be making conversations. Okay. Okay. If we he was single back, husband. right? I'm talking yeah. about if it was back in the if day. If it was, if it was someone else that looked like him. Let's yes. That. If it was Let's somebody else that looks husbands. like him, then. Yeah. I would not, I will be, you know, making conversation. I will clean up after him. It would not be a big deal. But when it's somebody that is ugly, you, oh, I don't want to say Mike's ugly. He's cute, but I mean, he's not her type. That's not her type. I do not see her with any type of man like that. Let me tell you something. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. When he gets to that space, you may have this guy who looks, he's your type, whatever. After a while, if that personality doesn't move you along, it just does not move you along. And I think yeah. with him, that's the thing, too. It's like he's, he doesn't say much, but he wants her to say something. Yeah. And, you know, they're eating. They went out to eat. He just... <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you doing? <laughs> Can I not eat in peace? How about the way... Like, you see... Well, also, After there's a the language too barrier, too, as well. No, they don't have much to say. Even if they were speaking English, they don't have much to say. He doesn't have much to say. But he wants to force her to have some conversation. Well, Mama, they had a lot of stuff to say. Um, oh, It's only this past trip that they don't have much to say. Because she has moved away. Because mm. she has to go to a loan shark to get her breasts done. Oh, okay. I really think that's when it was a turning point. Because she's like, you have not paid for my surgery. I am pissed off already. And mm. then you come with your wrinkly ass over here to come mm. see me. And then you're begging me, por favor, sleep with me, please. And then she's like, okay, I'm just going to sleep with him because I still need my money. So it's just it's just sad. It's sad that you go and you put your semen in the kid's bed, which I just think oh, is trifling. I don't trifling. know if that ha- Okay, let's not... Okay, we're not going to talk about kid's bed. And we're not talking about semen. Because we don't, like, okay. But y'all, anyway, you Let's had your sex right sweat in the child's bed. Okay, I don't know where they had sex. Let, they said in the child's bed. Okay, can we just move on from that particular <laughs> conversation? We don't know where they had anyway, sex. Anyway, we don't talk about yeah. Jasmine I, and Gina. We don't talk about the kids. And, yeah, let's just move on. But I can understand why she doesn't want to... Be with him. And also, just the, you know, he has to be, even if in the past... It didn't seem as though she cared that the kids were there. You know, people change. People have change of mind. And maybe now I she has that. decided, I, you know, but this is what she's saying. So just, I, I take her at her word right now because she's the one who has the children. So, hey, I just take her at her word and move on. That's all about Jasmine and Gino. She said that, Jasmine and Gino. stop okay. treating me like a sugar baby. And, yeah, like, yeah. the way she came from this man's whole existence Jasmine and soul. Does not like, she she really said so why done with him. She is really upset. Because the thing is, somebody actually emailed her. I know. When she said he actually thinks it's his, it's his ex. Yes. My thing and is, why is the is. ex acting so crazy? Saying if you're your, not still your sleeping with her, be on the internet. Yeah, and it had zero followers, so I'm sure it was still texting that ex. I don't. Care I'm sure he's he sleeping with her, and she's upset so that he's with somebody else. Because yeah. if you don't care about him anymore, yeah. why would you go out of your why way you to harass the girl? All the women's breasts. What is wrong with you, mom? He wasn't looking at any woman's breasts. I'm talking about the ex. He, he sent it to her. So what? So what? I'm going to continue to look at it and put it on the internet? Like, what Yeah, because that? he's sleeping with me and he has the nerve to screw me over like this. You what know? What is your obsession with this lady? Leave her alone. Yeah. So my thing is he probably hasn't. But yes. So I just think that, you know, he's probably seen with the ex, you know. And then obviously Jasmina roasted this man was saying that I'm here for free. You don't have to choose sugar babies. He got mad at her because she brought something from six years ago. And he just was upset and walked like off. Said, and we were seeing him and And he's showing a different side to himself, which yeah. is a little abusive emotionally. Yeah. Calling her names and all kinds of things. Well, she yeah. also calls her names. I just don't think the relationship is gonna work because they keep on violating each other's boundaries. So Yeah. But that's yeah. everything, y'all. It is Mary. And um Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment, comment. down below. We'll be back tomorrow for Clayton. Bye. Bye.